Logseek is like my thinking space. This is where I organize my thoughts, process what I read, and create new content. It is very powerful as it is, but the coolest thing about it is its plugin library is expanding quickly, which makes the tool even more powerful. So in this video, I want to share with you the best 10 plugins I use to build my second brain with Logseek. My most favorite plugin is Tabs. It lets you save multiple pages as tabs, like in a browser. This way, it's easier to revisit the pages you opened before. If some pages are important, you can double click to pin it. I usually have multiple pages pinned when I'm working on several writing projects at the same time. Then I can easily switch between projects. In a sense, you can create multiple workspaces for different projects. The second plugin I like is the Swap Block. This comes in handy if you use lots of block referencing, which is the most powerful feature of Logseek in my opinion. By using block referencing, you can simply reduce duplicates in your knowledge base and connect your ideas more efficiently. Also, you can build new ideas on top of the existing ideas, which I think is a great way to compound your knowledge. Anyway, this plugin lets you swap a reference and original text. This is useful when, for example, you want to edit or update the original text in your current page. I use this only sometimes, to be honest, but this another feature is what I use more frequently. That is, apply children as reference. In Logseek, when you reference a block, it only shows a parent block, not its children. But with this plugin, you can also reference them too. I find this useful because citing only the parent block doesn't seem so meaningful sometimes. Speaking of block referencing, another useful plugin is Move Block. This is self-explanatory. It lets you move selected block to another page. You might be wondering why this is useful. For me, the most common use case is to move a block to the daily note. Sometimes when I'm writing, I suddenly get a new idea or task I need to do. So I just write it down on the whatever page I'm on and then move it to the daily note. This way you don't have to change your workspace and get to save some time. Next one is a simple yet useful plugin and that is heading level command. This simply gives you keyboard shortcuts for changing the heading level. In Logseek, you have to type one hashtag to change the text to heading one, two hashtags for heading two, and three for heading three. But with this plugin, you can change the text to different heading levels using command one, two, or three. It's such a small thing, but I find it time-saving. Everybody probably knows Readwise already. It's a software that connects various reading apps to your note app so you can import your highlights. For some people, including me, Readwise is an absolute essential tool for learning. There is a plugin that allows you to connect Readwise to Logseek too. Now you can import your highlights from the books and uh, articles you read automatically. It is definitely one of the plugins you should install at the beginning. Speaking of book highlights, this is another plugin I use for studying. The comment plugin is useful in different situations, but for me, I use it when I'm making notes from the highlights I made. When you import highlights into Logseek, it looks like this. I used to make a new note under each highlight, but this is a little confusing because sometimes I forget whether this is what I wrote or what the author wrote. So I started using this comment plugin as a solution. When you see a highlight you want to make a new note of, instead of writing below it, you can just choose the comment block command and then create a new note. This way you can keep your notes and highlights separated, thereby avoiding the confusion. So this is kind of like a super brief overview of how I make my book notes. The next one is bullet threading plugin. If you used the Rome Research before, you might have heard of it. Essentially, it highlights the path of the current block. It's useful because without it, it gets harder and harder to see which level your current block is as you go deeper in the hierarchy. So it's a nice little solution for this problem. Sometimes when you're writing a long form essay, you want to create a table of contents so you can quickly navigate to different sections. The TLC plugin lets you do exactly that. When you want to make a TLC, you can do that from the slash command menu. If you're a writer, it might be one of the must plugins. Next up is Agenda Plugin. This is perfect plugin if you want to do calendar blocking in Logseek. It allows you to create a custom calendar where you can see your schedule, create new tasks, and so on. I think many people will love this plugin because it makes it easy to build a daily, weekly, and even monthly schedule without leaving Logseek. It's nice to be able to see your overdue tasks too. 
Also, you can keep your daily log and it will display it on the calendar. This is useful to keep track of your day as well as to make a rough schedule. If you're trying to use Logseek for task management, you should definitely give this one a try. Finally, the last plugin I recommend is Anki Sync. With this, you can sync your flashcards in Logseek to Anki. I know there's now Logseek mobile app, but the reason why I prefer to use Anki for reviewing some flashcards is that the plugin allows for more customization of flashcards. With the default Logseek space repetition system, you can only create one-way cards. Whereas with the Anki plugin, you can choose the direction of the questions such as forward, reverse, or bidirectional. For me, it's easier to memorize things when I review flashcards bidirectionally. Also, Anki mobile app is a little faster than the Logseek mobile app, so it's easier to review on Anki. So those are my favorite Logseek plugins, but I also want to list a few honorable mentions for plugins I don't use, but will be really useful for some people. The first one is to do with sync plugin. This connects Logseek and uh, Todoist so you can push the tasks in Logseek to Todoist and vice versa. If you want to use Logseek for task management, this is going to be a must plugin because you'll be able to see the tasks in Logseek in the Todoist mobile app. I don't use Todoist for tasks, which is why I don't use this plugin, but I'm sure it's going to be essential for some people. Another one is Vim plugin. It lets you use Logseek like in Vim, which is going to save a lot of time. So if you're used to using Vim, you're going to love this plugin. But if you're not, it will take some time to learn all the shortcuts. It might be worthwhile to take the time to do that though. The last one is Smart Block. Again, if you tried Roam Research before, you might have heard of it. It lets you create templates that are more customizable than the LogSync default templates. I haven't really used it that much, but some people can get creative and make super flexible templates. All right, that was a list of my favorite plugins in LogSync. If you want to know more about how I use Logseek, you can check this video. I talk about how I use it daily to study and organize my ideas. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.